The airport sticker is going over the tiles. Damn you. Don't go over tiles, man. Is this modular? Does it come off? Not really, I'm just taking it off. It's so, it's so small, you can just take it off like that. Do, 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 do. Okay, put this here. Oh, I just knocked off the tail. The tail is gone. I don't wanna go up. I'm a toy <laughs> You know what? I fake cried so many times, I totally forgot to say the intro. So what's up, you guys? Welcome back. Wake me up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. All right, let's dive into this. <sighs> That's okay. Toys R Us maybe in our memories, making sure own it from Oxford Block. They have the rights again to use this. And look at this. It's an airport, you guys. Yeah, check it out. So this is Oxford Block's Toys R Us airport, I guess. Exclusive, 803 pieces. The good thing about this is that there's a lot of little things that come with the set, so it's a lot of fun to play with, especially if you have kids. This is a very playable set. Bad news, it's not quite as intricate, especially if you're an older person like me that wants detailed. This feels more kiddish, but hey, that's cool. Now it's whether or not you think this is for you guys, for your city, or not. City, city. This is kind of my first airport. I can't believe that. I don't remember making a Lego airport since I was a kid, but this one is from Oxford Block. We'll take a look at each item one by one. Shall we start small and go big, or go big and go small? Doesn't really matter, right? I'm the one that is controlling this. Let's start with the smaller one. Here we go, we're gonna jump into this little vehicle. This is like a little cart that is carting away the little staircase to go to the airplane. It's very simple, nothing really special about it. I do like the fact that it has a staircase on the back that's pretty cool. I guess it would unhinge that and then you would put this against the airplane, which we'll see later if it fits or not perfectly. This part comes off pretty easy. It's a little bit loose there. Otherwise, it's not bad, it rolls, look at that. It's very simple, it's for a one-man guy to drive this thing and be like, I'm leaving on a jet plane. I don't know when I'll be back again. Doors do open just fine, it has a little steering wheel there, it has a sticker on the front. Yeah, this whole set uses stickers. I'm not a fan of some of the transparent ones you'll see in a bit, but anyway, this one has stickers on both sides of that staircase, Toys R Us and a logo. I don't know what that logo is. I've never seen that logo before. The T there on the top. License plate says PS1209. Maybe that's a set number. Maybe it isn't. Let's move on to the bus. Let's, let's just move these things out of the way one by one so we can see this close up here. I'll move this over here. Rolls really good. Oh, I'm knocking it all over the place. All right, let's look at this bus first from the outside. It's got the license plate sticker, uh, that transparent sticker, it looks kind of weird. JS1107, on both sides is a Toys R Us sticker. This is where you put your luggage on the side right there. We can close those, there's just little cabinet doors. And on the back there, it's a little bit interesting how they offset it a little bit. It's just like a slight bit sticking out. And on the front here, you got the rear view mirrors hanging down from the top. That is pretty neat. Then you got the passenger doors here. You got one in the front and one in the back here. They open up just fine. There you go. But how do you get the minifigures inside? Oh, this is a modular bus. So you technically, you could make this a double decorate if you wanted to, but you can actually take off the front here. We'll pull this off there. Take this piece off the top here. And that's kind of cool. They made little vents on here on the top. The backside can come off like that there. Look on the inside. So you got a driver's seat there and you got a total of five seats that's kind of spread out in the back. A little bit small, but at least some of the minifigures can stand up in there. It would have been maybe cooler if the bus was just a little bit wider so you can kind of double it up. And you got this white thing that's in between the chairs. They probably could have put a couple more chairs there, you know? Anyway, nice small little bus. Let me know what you guys think. You like this bus? You don't like the bus? Of course, the bus has to go to the terminal. So let's go to the terminal. Don't fall down. All right, so here's the terminal. It's so small, man. I wish it was a little bit bigger. It's kind of like the Enlightened sets that I reviewed. If you haven't watched them, check them out here. A lot of people have been buying them. They're actually pretty okay. But you know, when you turn it sideways, it looks like it's just been cut off right there. Right? I have another set I have to review over there. I'll get to that one later. But anyway, let's check it out from the front and work our way to the back. Hey, at least it's tiled on the front. Not much to tile. And you got two little railings there, blue railings. And by the way, the color theme of the whole set is pretty good. They kept the consistency of the color there. So it's like, blue, white, and red, and it looks really nice. We have rotating doors here. It's a little bit tight there. I think if you probably like, if you loosen up the bricks a little bit, it'll probably swivel better. Turn, look at that. Yeah, it works perfectly fine. Got a sticker there that says airport and a lot of glass 
panels there. Some of them look a little bit scratched up. That's something I am very used to nowadays. And then you got the little control tower on the top. And that's it, man. Let's look at it on the back side. So on the bottom there, they're gonna check your passport on this side. And they got the x-ray on the other side. It looks like the TSA counter is really cut off, man. That's it. It's so plain on the inside. Oh, I just wish it was like way bigger than this. You know what? There was actually one airport that I have been to somewhere in Burma that was a lot like this. It was very small. You land and you just walk right out. Second floor is just tables and chairs. That is it. It's like a cafeteria. It's like a restaurant. Nothing up there. It's just not even wasted space. It's like too small to even make anything there. Why do they have green tables? Man, they really had to put green tables up there. I think that second floor should have been like an office. And there's no way to get to the second floor. Poor minifigures. Gotta just jump but they do have a sticker on the back there that just flight arrivals and a time that's probably one of the better looking stickers there you're not going to find much details on it although like i said if i put these all together like that you know it does look kind of nice it might actually go in a city i don't know you know you guys let me know what you think and you know let's move on to the top of this control tower and you got this little office right on the top it has a little radar screen on there you can see the flight path of the planes coming in a little joystick, not quite sure what that's for. And of course on the top, you have the little antenna. It's just a one by three tile on the top, that's the antenna. Very simple. All right, you guys, that's the airport terminal. And we get to the last, but probably the most important thing of the set, the airplane. Yeah, look at that. Look at that airplane. Most disappointing thing about this plane is the bottom piece. It's like one solid piece. Kind of wish it was more like brick building. But again, more for kids, right? So let's take a look at the details on this. The thing I don't like about this is the stickers. And I'll remind you again, don't put the stickers on until the last part, because you might not like the stickers or you can save the stickers for later. But let's look at the stickers on this bad boy, right? So you got Toys R Us stickers on both sides. It's okay. But you see this one here by the back of the tail? I don't like that at all. I'm really sorry. See how the white doesn't really blend in there? It's not really transparent. Ah, ugly, man. And you got the Toys R Us stars on the wing. I'm guessing those are like the Toys R Us logo, the stars. Those are stickers too. Mm, it looks very kiddie-ish. You know, if you took it off, it might look a little bit better. Looks like Tyler did that. And then you got the sticker on the nose here. It's like, no, why did put ruin it like that? At least print this thing out. And then you got the tail here, the blue on it. And you got the sticker of Jeffrey the giraffe there. And you have a couple of studs as the tail lights and on the wings itself. See, the wings are like one big solid piece, man. So on the back side, you can see like you don't really build the wings, you don't build this part, and even the engines are solid pieces, they're not like a brick. And you know, I don't know man, only this part here is like a piece of brick. They got two doors here, at least the doors do open up like that, like that. But that's pretty cool, it does open there at least. So the question now is, can the airplane be opened up easily? Yes it can, so that's a good thing. So we can take off this part here. That's part of the roof there. And you can take the next layer off here. There is the inside. So you do have seats in there. Again, wish it would have been a little bit wider so you can fit more passengers on there. But you got the pilot seat there. Where's the co-pilot seat, man? There's only one guy flying this jet. So on the inside of the plane, there's really not much going on at all. It's just chairs. The pilot does have a steering wheel and the control panel that is a sticker. That is it, man. I kind of wish it had a little bit more detail in there. And even the middle part, the section, right? It's really small. It could just fit nine people on the inside. And it has some space in the back to like maybe store the suitcases and stuff. But that is it, man. That is super, super plain. But a lot of you might be okay with that because you just want to have this in your city like that. Or do you not like it? It's up to you guys. So we'll put this nose back on here like so. You know, the set does come with a couple of luggages. So you can see the three suitcases. And it has two rollers. Yeah, look at those bags. They do open up, by the way. There's nothing inside of them, but at least they included luggages, so there you go. And of course, we got six minifigures. Let's check them out. I'm pretty sure that's the pilot there. He's got a smirk. And look how they do his eyebrows. Is that like a misprint? It looks weird. It looks kind of off. I don't know, man. I don't know if I want him to be my pilot. He has his pilot cap on. Now, that is a custom print on his shirt, and funny enough, it's a Toys R Us, so I'm not sure why they couldn't print some of the stuff on the set. But all right, that's the pilot. That is John Jones. I hope you don't go buying this set too, man. Time to save up. Okay, go fly that plane. And then you got the co-pilot that has no seat on the plane. Or is that the airport security? Maybe that's the airport security. 
I'm not sure. Got the little name tag there with no name on it, but he's happy to do his job. Mark 54, there you go. When Mini Sam is fired, you'll be hired. And you got this guy, he's the coolest one because he looks like he's holding up two lightsabers and you know, he's just making sure that he can park the airplane. I like his headphones, I like his sunglasses and the little mic printed onto his face. And he's got the uniform printed on there. He looks fine. Joe for us. I know you're a long time subscriber and it's always nice to see your comments. Thanks for watching the videos. There you are. Now go direct that plane or go fight Luke Skywalker. So the three guys look just fine, but here's a stewardess and her outfit could probably have used a little bit more detail. I mean, it looks nice, but it's just not quite like a stewardess. She looks like she could pass for a passenger as well. The stewardess is Mini Sam because I don't know any more females on here. Mini Sam, you look good as a girl. There you are, ready to serve the people on the plane, just like you served me. Thank you, Mini Sam. And then you got this guy who's wearing his sunglasses. We've seen him in the other Oxford block sets before. He looks like a cool dude doing something on the plane, who knows. This is Florian Paulus. I hope I said your name right. It's okay if you never ordered something for me. It's all good, man. All right, now you go enjoy that flight. And thank you so much for your info. It really does help. So this lady, her printing is actually pretty okay. The passenger for the plane. I like the pink there. And she has a nice, lovely smile. And that is Mabel Lau. Nicely done to you too. Hope you enjoy your flight. When you see this, you know what time it is. We're gonna try to gauge the best dimension so you can see if this is fit for you or not. Okay, ready? We'll do this one by one. So here we go. Start with the control tower. All right, so we'll check the width first and we'll do that by placing a 32 by 32 base plate there. And that is 10 studs by width and by length. Check it out. It is 30 studs. So this will fit on your base plate like so with plenty of other little things here. And just so you know, it is sitting on three smaller plates. There you go, let's check the height of this bad boy. Okay, here's my one by four bricks. Take yours out, measure up with me. Here we go. This is to the antenna, if I place it there, it is just 25 bricks in height. So I'm gonna place the bus here on the base plate and just kind of give you guys a visual idea and kind of a, an estimate here, all right? So for the length of the bus from the back to the front, it is 28 studs, it's roughly around there. And from side to side here, for the width, it is around six studs. So the height of the bus is just about eight bricks there. And you know, with the little vent there, it will be nine. We're just gonna add an extra brick there and it's around nine bricks in height. So there you go. And now let's move on to that little cart, tractor, cart, whatever you wanna call it. The little vehicle here, if I put the bricks here, like right around here, it is five bricks in height. So that piece right there is just around like, it's just shy of seven bricks. So there you go. And then for the width here from side to side, you're looking about four studs. And for the length here from front all the way to the back there is 21 studs. So the airplane is definitely bigger than a 32 by 32 base plate, just so you can see that. It extends and pulls back kind of roughly around 51 studs in length, like front to back. It's kind of hard to gauge it like this, but just so you guys know, yeah, from here to here, it's like nine studs without the wings. If I was to push this to the side like that and kind of put this over here, it is roughly around 48 studs from here to here. Man, I don't know how you guys measure this stuff. Anyway, there you go, your dimensions. See if you have space to park this plane. So there you guys go, that's Oxford Blocks, Toys R Us Airport. It is available on BrickMeUpScotty.com. What do you guys think? Is this for you? I'm more of a city guy, but I do like it. I kind of wish it just had a lot more detail, but for me, I know that it's gonna be kid-friendly to play with. Tyler's gonna have so much fun playing with this airplane, and you'll have to worry about it falling apart or little pieces moving off and on. All right, let's get on to the next review, shall we? Until next time, break me out. Now let's just pretend I'm a little boy playing with the set. We have to have this guy. I guess he's gonna drive this thing. We're gonna make him drive this thing because there is no co-pilot. Cool he fits in there nice and well. Look, single trick, single, single guy. You know, and then you gotta get this guy here on the front to be like, okay, come closer. Beep, beep, beep. I guess he unhinges off of here. Goes right up to the door. Let's open the door first. Ladies and gentlemen, we have landed. Please don't stand up until the plane is fully parked. Of course, everyone's gonna stand up anyway. 
Oh look, it's perfectly matched there. So your minifigure can walk up on the staircase and go, oh, it's time to go on the flight again. Come on up, lady. Join the Mile High Club. Nah, no, ignore me. I'm just having fun with these guys. What else? You want to see them sitting inside the airplane? Okay, let's put them inside the plane. You might actually have to take out this piece if you really want to play with your figures inside like that. Take this one off. Take this off. There, like that. You can see the room. And where's the where's the pilot? Here, like that. And the steward is standing here going, Ladies and gentlemen, please put your seat belts on. Yeah. Put all the suitcases like that, right there. Kind of wish they had a cart. Maybe you can make your own little cart to put the suitcases there. So there you go, they're all inside the airplane now and you can actually see them through the window, which is really cool. Maybe I get a close up for you guys so you can guys see that detail. So these guys are flying in the sky going shh, shh, Wait, 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 stop right there. Okay, good, all right. You gotta get off the plane now and then they're gonna go onto the bus, open up the bus. But you know, it's, it's pretty good right now. Nothing's really falling apart. We're just taking off the parts that are meant to come off. Whee, so there you go. The passengers are all inside the bus. They fit perfectly fine. So this is a very, very playable set. And of course, if you want to get them out again, you gotta take this back all off like that. You take them out and go, okay. We're finished with this freaking review. There, come out the front door like that. Missing your feet there. Take your feet out with the chair. I need to stop playing with the toys, man, because I'm spending more time playing with the actual toys than editing or reviewing other sets. The pilot's probably asking the guy, what are you doing, man? How do you like my lightsabers? <laughs> Scotty, when are you going to review some Star Wars set? <laughs> I like this guy. He's pretty cool, man. Hello, Scotty. I can't believe you're leaving now. We've been through so much together. Do you really have to go? Dear, as much as I love you, man, it's time for me to go back to my family. You know, we've been on so many adventures together. That's right, Scotty. Remember when we saved those campers? That was the most amazing thing ever. We had so many friends help us defeat that creature. Yeah, that's right, man. That was so much fun. And don't forget about the time you almost died on me, man. Remember we had to get the wizards to come help you out? Oh, yes, I remember them. And it was Mickey Mouse who told us how to find them. Oh, man, so many adventures. I remember those crazy Kobe's, too. Yeah, man, I'll never forget that. I still remember the first time we met, dear. You remember that? Oh, stop it, Scotty. Don't say anymore. You're going to make me cry. I don't want to think about that. Okay, okay, dear. We'll save that story for another day. This is Radio One Tower. Please come in. Flight KLA. Are you ready for takeoff? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. boarding for Legoland. It's about to depart. Please come to your gate right now. Dear, I gotta go, man. Listen, we had a lot of fun times. You know, I'll be back. I'm sure I'll be back. No, Scotty, you can't leave. Can I see your passport, please? Sure. I'm ready to go to. I'm going home to Legoland. I'm gonna miss him so much. My heart is broken. No. Boy, I'm sure gonna miss Deer, but it is time to go home. All aboard the bus. Good afternoon, sir. May I have a boarding ticket, please? Sure thing. Here you go. I'll take the back to the back for you. Would you like a drink, sir? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. I'm just gonna sit here and, and think about all the good times before I go home. That's the most important thing. I'm going home. Good afternoon. Captain speaking, we will be departing in about 10 moments. Please have your seatbelt ready and enjoy the flight. Flight time will be 30 hours. Vroom, vroom, vroom. You're all clear for takeoff. You know what? That is scary. I cannot leave him. I gotta go to him right now. Hold that plane. How the hell did he get down there? I need to ride with that thing. Quick, chase that airplane down. Please. Oh, yeah. This is just like a movie. I'll get you there right now. There is a seat! It's going quick faster! Not a chance, little deer! Jump on it! Go, little deer! You got it! Yippee! I'm an idiot, Scotty! Can you hear me? Can you see me? Deer, what are you doing over there? Do you know how dangerous that is? Scotty, I can't hear what you're saying! 
But it's okay. I'm going to stay here as long as I can. And I'll never, ever leave by your side. Dude, you're going to be on that wing for like 30 hours, man. I hope this is a short flight. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Scotty will be back. We'll be back with more adventures. Until the end of time. Yeah.